to unlock insane performance gains while achieving the lowest latency possible. No matter what graphics card you have, no other PC specs, this will benefit you. So please drop a like and also subscribe. You should be able to just right click on your desktop and find the NVIDIA control panel there. However, if it's not there, you can head into the Windows Store and search for it and it should pop up. But once you are inside, if you click on that middle option, then click take me there to a 3D settings. You'll see first up is image scaling. What this does is it adds a spatial upscaling technology. And if you are gonna use this setting, I think you're much better off using the improved technology, which is DLSS for this type like FPS boost. Ambient occlusion will add enhanced shadows and environmental lighting in your games, which does look very pretty, I must Although say. Although I like to turn the setting off as it does lower your FPS by quite a bit. A necrotic filter in this enhances the visual quality of game textures. When your camera is at a steep angle, the higher you do set this filter, the less blurry the textures will look, however. I do turn this off as I do want more FP. Yes, anti-aliasing modes. All of these modes right here do help eliminate jagged edges on game objects by adding a sort of like smooth filter. But I myself do like to turn these off as they do cost a lot of FPS. Background application max frame rate. This allows you to set a max FPS for background applications. But most of you should turn this off as it's only beneficial in very specific scenarios. CUDA GPUs this lets you specify one or more GPUs to use. I think this is best left on all, unless you want to use a specific GPU. If you do have multiple, also ensure that the CUDA fallback policy is left on. The driver default to avoid issues. DSR factor is or dynamic super resolution. This right here is a pretty out of date technology that helps improve image quality by rendering the image and scaling it at a high resolution but i personally wouldn't use this as it will hurt your fps big time instead like i mentioned earlier you should consider using a newer technology technology like dlss to get that sort of fps boost oh be sure to turn off dsr smoothness as well that's just an additional dsr setting low latency mode this mode can massively reduce latency in competitive game games it does this by removing the rendering queue between the CPU and GPU, which removes one latency step from your mouse clicking to reaching the display, resulting in overall lower system latency. I myself, I love this setting, so I like to keep it on, but I did find that for my PC Ultra, did lower my frame rate, so I like it on on for that specific reason. But it's one of those settings that you need to try out and see which one works for you and your PC max frame rate. This option allows you to cap your FPS to a max setting, but I like to set this to off, as you can set the max frame rate cap in most games. Monitor technology now. This setting right here will only be visible to those out there whose monitors do support NVIDIA G-Sync. If you didn't know NVIDIA, G-Sync is responsible for adjusting your monitor's refresh rate to become dynamic causing display refreshes only when a frame is sent from the GPU, which basically solves issues like screen tearing. So sync can be useful to some, as it does have a lot of benefits. But please make sure you do set it up properly, as a popular website called Blurbusters.com tested sync monitors and confirmed that a cap frame rate of 3 FPS less than your refresh rate will give you the lowest latency for G-Sync and V-Sync multi-frame sampled. An alias in this removes jagged edges and smooths out graphics, result in an improved visual. But I'll turn this off, as with it being an anti-aliasing setting, it will cost you a lot of FPS, which we don't want OpenGL settings. This allows you to use specific GPUs that can be used for OpenGL. Both of these settings are best left the on. The default one's power management mode. This lets you choose between power and performance. On your graphics card, however, after testing this set in, I can confirm that the performance setting didn't really increase my FPS. That much all it really did was increase temperature and power usage, however. That is just from testing on my PC, which is quite high-end, I think. It's something that you should test on your PC and see what's best for for you. I myself will be keeping this setting on the default option preferred refresh rate. This allows you to set your monitor's refresh rate, so it should be left on the default. Highest available setting, however. Shader cache size. This stores any shaders from the game, but it has to compile in real time for use later. The large of a shader cache is, is the less likely you are to have to regenerate that shader, which can result in better performance. But there is a downside to this, which is wasting disk space on a larger shader cache. 
Most people, they do like to set this on like 10 gigabytes, as people have claimed. It helps with frame rate stuttering, a massel for like to keep and on default, as I haven't noticed that much of a difference at Texture all. Texture filter and settings. All of these settings here allow you to decide if you prefer performance, quality, or a balance between the two. So after testing, I found the best settings to on allow high performance and having trilinear optimization turned on. Those settings right have there have given me an FPS boost you, but it's something you need to try for yourself and have a mess around with. Threaded optimization. This allows your computer to utilize several processor cores at once. Very confident the best setting for this is auto. It basically allows NVIDIA to figure out if you have a multi-core slash hyper-threaded CPU or not, and they'll automatically give you the best set. Then we've got vertical sync, virtual reality, pre-rendered frames, and the rest of the 3D settings. I think all of these should be left on default. Also, I want to make an important note that these are all global settings. If you want to use these settings for a specific game, you can do so via heading to the program tab at the top and selecting the game mode as well. If any of these settings don't work out for you, you can restore them back to default via that button at the top right but that right there has been my full guide on the best in video settings and much more if the video helped please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and before you do go feel free to check out my other videos on screen right now